So here's the Ego CSX 5000, well 5007 because it came with the 8 amp battery. This is the commercial series. Now I've heard there are some issues with the thing overheating the battery if you run it too hard. So in order to help that, I've outfitted it with a 24 inch bar. So if it's gonna run it hot, we'll get her there. And we got a pretty good size log that we're gonna cut on. So uh, let's run this battery out. So I got five cuts before I got the red light of overload death. So this is this is consistent with the information that I've gotten on this so far. So this is probably I can I can, I can smell it pretty warm. It doesn't it doesn't feel too hot, but I know sometimes it takes a little while for the the warm temperature to come out. But uh that's what we got what I've been told is there's still plenty of life going to be left in the battery when it comes off of being overheated but uh, it has to wait so that's kind of crap um, I am going to I already ordered a 10 amp battery and I'm going to give it a shot with that and see if it runs cooler and uh, we'll see maybe it even needs a 12 amp but that's what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Last one was a was a little thin, but yeah, it works. The ego cut really nicely. Um, I was impressed with the uh, consistency of the cuts. I think out of the six cuts that I got, each one of them was within like a second of the other. They were all in like a 25 to 26 and change second range. Uh, it was 25.2 was the was the best cut and it was just over 26 or 26 and change was the least time but consistency on six cuts that was really good i was impressed with that i wasn't impressed with the battery puking out um on six cuts but there's a, there's a load indicator on here and they mentioned that in the owner's manual and i definitely had the load pegged the whole time and they do mention if you peg the load continuously you are going to, you know, run into problems with heat, and I did, so that's the answer to that. You know, if I watch the load, and I don't let it stay pegged all the time, and I let it toggle maybe between top load and not quite top load, I think there's like five bars or something, it would probably last longer. But of course, I want to get as much as I can out of the saw, who doesn't? So, the next test will be with the higher amperage batteries to see if, uh, well, see if the cut times change and to see if it um, does, if, if the battery can handle that without overheating. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes. This battery, now it's showing that it's still got 60% uh, or somewhere between, you know, 40 and 60% left on the battery. And I checked the voltage, it's a 51 and change volts. So that tells me, I don't think the nominal voltage is really 56 so I'd be I'd be curious what the actual like it's either going to be probably 13 or 14 cells um, you know because it's 3.6 volts per cell on these batteries uh, I'd like to find that information out but anyway the thing cut really nice I used the 24 inch bar and chain not the 20 inch and I did I have a little video on uh, this is the 325 driver and I swapped it out for a 3 8 driver in order to run that big bar but the Husqvarna bars fit right on there um, they have the same tail stock so that's nice in terms of using it and uh, overall the the sort the, the sort the saw outputs a lot of torque for an electric saw it's it's uh, pretty impressive 
and it's uh, enjoyable to use. I look forward to trying it with bigger batteries.